Hello, today we're going to talk about WebSocket server on the ESP32 in the ESP IDF environment. Like always, we will start with the Expressive website. And Expressive documentation, the interesting thing is that a WebSocket server is placed inside the HTTP server. As you can see here, API reference application protocols, HTTP server and WebSocket server is part of it. And we will scroll down a bit and you can see here a very brief uh, explanation about WebSocket server with a pretty complicated example from my point of view. Uh, our repositories is uh, inside the uh, Sims IoT devices. We have a WebSocket server with actually two files. The first one is a HTTP server and the second one is a WebSocket, web WebSocket server. For those of you who are interested in short explanation, you can skip to the WebSocket server. But I suggest to start at HTTP server. We have a specific video about it. But here we want to see the difference between the HTTP server and the WebSocket server. So we will open here the HTTP server. And here we will open the WebSocket server. Starting with HTTP server. This is a code. Uh, we have here in our editor and inside the uh, HTTP server we have a standard includes Wi-Fi connect Wi-Fi wi wi handler Wi-Fi connectivity and this is the server we are starting from application main which takes us to the HTTP server application start here we have uh, four lines of code which defining the server, the default configuration, we are starting the server and registering the handler, which is a URI handler, which uh, for simplicity we started with the get handler, which defined here. Please note that URI uh, slash HTTP means uh, that we are going to default a uh, gateway of our router, of our Wi-Fi router, and we will add HTTP to it. Our uh, handler, handler, get handler, is sending the message hello from, HT from HTTP server. This is a simple HTTP uh, server. Let's see how it works and let's see uh, how we can check it. We will check it with Postman. On our ESP32 we uh, inst we installing the server and uh, Postman will be used as a client and we will send a GET message to our server on ESP32. Okay, Le please note the following. Wi-Fi is now running and here, here, we have our gateway. Our code is printing the Wi-Fi IP, which is the gateway to our router. In order to send the command, we will use get option with the same, with the same gateway and we will add HTTP at the end I will press enter enter now it's connecting hello from HTTP server and we have a get request here you can see it here okay entire get request with nobody with, with the following uh, message uh, from uh, the server let's go back this is the message that we have received. Now, after we have a basic HTTP server running, 
we can go forward to our WebSocket server. First, let's see the differences between HTTP and WebSocket server. Here, on the HTTP server, if we are taking client and the HTTP server, we are sending an HTTP request and then we got HTTP response. And every time we see the request and response and so on. On the other hand, for the WebSocket server, we only initially have a handshake which establishes the connection between the client and the server. And then we have a full duplex where we can send messages freely from one another. But here in the, inside the ESP32, inside the ESP IDF philosophy, we are using HTTP protocol to do so. But the duplex is uh, fully uh, made. In order to do it, we will, we will, sorry, we will open our WebSocket server program here. We will copy it. This is our program. We will paste, paste it here, save and run, uh, run the server. Now we are running the WebSocket server. Uh, meanwhile, you can see that the includes and we have it in the additional tag here and the wi-fi connection and wi-fi handler are exactly the same the difference begins here and it's a little bit more complicated our, our main application is wi-fi connection we wait for wi-fi connection to take place and then we run the websocket application start for a, you can see just to see to make it visible here this is our original HTTP server you see uh, we have a very similar program here we have server null uh, we have a default configuration for the uh, config HTTP config and uh, and uh, here we're starting the server with HTTP start with HTTP start um, the same as as uh, as uh, here this the same also application we used for uh, uh, initiating our handlers you see that this and these are completely the same. The difference began with the handlers. Here we are uh, uh, sending our message to our initiation to URI handler, which is here, which exactly is the same that we are doing here. Please note that our uh, uh, we we add to the gateway a WC just to make it different but we are using the same HTTP get and we're using the same uh, URL handler structure but instead uh, initiating get handler and just print the message just send the message via HTTP server which was done by this uh, uh, function here we are starting the asynchronous get handler Asynchronous get handler is initializing the queue which can save the messages and by that uh, enable us the full duplex uh, connection. Here we, we define the memory for our, um, uh, we call it uh, we call it the uh, asynchronous response data structure for our data structure here. We we resolve some memory, uh, uh, defining the parameters, and starting the queue. This is the main thing. We are starting the queue with the following handler, and this handler 
is a asynchronous response handler which have three parts we have our data formatted what we want to see we want to s we want to send a hello from esp32 websocket server and it's very important to use this line because uh, the http protocol headers must be exactly like this every change from uh, this in uh, some space or so, so on can cause an error anyway here we initialized our data after it we initialize as a synchronous response structure the same structure that you have seen here have seen here and then we are sending the data we are sending first the string uh, uh, the http string the headers and then we are sending the data hello from the server let's see how it works uh, here we are ready on port uh, 80 here we will go to our uh, you see the same here here and here we have the same gateway and we added WS enter okay uh, we couldn't connect to the server let's see what could be what was wrong one possibility is that um, we didn't uh, initialize the web uh, socket server inside the compiler okay after starting menu config the config options http server websocket server save 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 okay let's uh, recompile our code okay it will uh, take a bit here because of uh, the complete recompilation let's see uh, meanwhile uh, the error unexpected response handshake details okay the handshake hand, handshake wasn't uh, uh, sufficient and here we have the old message from the previous uh, test um okay uh, regarding the uh, response data structure we have two major uh, 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 parameters here first the server instance which is an http handle and the second the session socket file disc descriptor which was uh, a specific number you have, can see it here okay let's just wait to see it recompile okay uh, okay connecting okay this is our gateway um, okay let's try it once again enter unexpected response oh by the way here you see the number of FD uh, which was assigned to us Oh, this 
Uh, oh, here now it's working. We didn't uh, pay get get the the get request here. Okay. H hello from WebSocket server, and uh, here we have the command. We have the entire uh, entire. Uh, command with the respond body hello from websocket server so uh, our error was that we didn't use the get here in this configuration but now it's working and you see the postman sent the command and got the return statement thank you